What's up, guys? And who's ready to get chaotic with me as I showcase one of my favorite tribes? Actually, the favorite tribe, the Underworlders, and my boy, Kaylor. Um, why do I love Kaylor? Well, he has 70 energy, he's got great stats, he's got fire, he's got three magic counters. What's not to love? You pair him up with a web crack, he's got 15 more power, he's got fire five, and boom, he's a mean, he's a big, tough guy. I was going to say lean, mean fighting machine, but he's actually very bulky. Um, and on the side of him, I have two cows, and those basically are like the leaders of like the underworld, um, past and now present. And uh, the cows, they have two major counters, they have cool ability, uh, they have fire five, they have high stats, so great card. Um, and in the middle, I have Rage Strahd. Good card. Uh, I, I think I talk more about it in the video later. Why Rage Strahd? Uh, and surprise, Copan Heimuge. And the surprise is the battle gear that I put uh, on him. And also Nivena. And Nivena is just a really good card uh, if you're gonna play Fire or uh, any elemental kind of base deck with your underworlders. So yeah, I have. I did have some. Um, some like sneaky stuff that I think underworlders would uh, appreciate, like comb combusting carnage. Um, you know, uh, you may sacrifice an unengaged creature control if you do deal 20 damage. So when I Venom is no longer useful after three, four turns, whatever, uh, boom, bye bye Night Venom. You know, uh, and I have like revival stuff, so I can just keep reviving stuff. And uh, if worst comes to worst, use combusting carnage um, and fire ring as well. Uh, when you play fire ring, deal 10 damage to your engaged creature, but uh, you deal 10 fire damage, and pretty much most of my creatures can deal even more than that. So that's a really good zero um, build point uh, attack card. And uh, Magma Might is really good. Uh, I like to destroy battle gears, and it actually becomes really, really huge in uh, this, this, um, this coming up, this battle. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like the deck. I love this deck uh, just because I love Kaor. Um, I love reviving Kaor, and um, yeah, uh, it, I mean the basic gist of the deck is just have a lot of magic counters to revive Kaor, to play all my magics, to hopefully use Kyle's abilities. Um, I didn't get to really use Kyle's abilities this time, but uh, uh, I mean I was playing a really good opponent. He was just kind of. Uh, countering a lot of stuff that I had and I was countering a lot of stuff that he had so it was a really good back and forth But I came up with the winner. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the deck guys and welcome to another episode um, So today I have an underworld deck for you guys and I haven't played with underworlders yet or at least all underworld so uh, this should be pretty interesting and um, Let's see my deck list um, Let's see my deck setup. So, um, it's pretty much elemental kind of underworld deck. And it, what's really great about this deck is it has a lot of counters. Um, it has it has 14 magic counters all together. And I really like that for underworlders. Uh, they have one of the best magics out there, Sun of Revival um, and Cannon of Casualty. One major counter deal 20 damage. It's really, really good. Uh, you pair that up with Copan, who deals 10 additional uh, with the can of casualties, and it's really insane. And um, you guys might be surprised to see an uncommon here, Rage, to Rage Trod. And it's actually one of the better, like, uncommons, uh, for at least for Underworlders. It's got two, he's got two major counters. He's got Appleform, Power 5. He's got Fire and Earth, and that's really solid. Um, you know, Nivana could boost him up as well. Um, the only backside is he's got Recklessness 5, but uh, that's not too bad. Uh, he's got uh, 55 energy as his um, average. Now, Son of Fury, I think, is pretty weak, so I'm, I will probably replace that with something else. Um, but basis, the basis of this deck is, uh, okay, you attack with or you die. Um, you revive it maybe on your opponent's other side of the deck. You use Kal. For burn, um, you use Nivena's ability to give Elemental 10. Uh, use Copond to burn with uh, Cannon of Casualties. Use Rage Rod, and um, you basically use Rage Rod to use some, one of these Son of Revivals. 
um, KO to use a Son of Fury, maybe even a Sarah Revival and a Kyle uh, to get to your opponent's backside. So it's it's a pretty annoying deck. And uh, what's really cool about this matchup, especially, is that I actually played an Underworld deck as well. And um, and this was actually a solid Underworld deck. Um, uh, I actually like made a similar one to this before. Um, and he's going to flip everything over. So let's see. And uh, my KO is equipped with a web crack. Oops. Um, let's see if I can. Yep, there we go. It's a, equipped with a web crack. Uh, one of these calls, I think, is also equipped with a web crack. It's just such a solid battle gear for Underworlders. Um, 15 power and fire 5. It's really good. And I put Xerium armor on this because it only has 50 energy. And I would like to, for him to last a little bit. Um, and uh, so I, this was, nope, you guys didn't see that. You guys didn't see that. Uh, that was a surprise that I wanted. No. Um, yeah, you guys didn't see that battle gear. So Bronze Flight on Rage Trot in case he has Defender. Um, and Nevada has a Mind Rope because I don't want her to get burned. So we started off with Lista uh, with a Dread Tread attacking Kal. Uh, I guess it was this one. Uh, it had to be this one. So, uh, and she actually, um, and uh, and um, so because uh, she won courage, um, she won courage. She uh, gets it air ten, which is and power ten, which is insane. So. Um, Yep, uh, he dealt that damage, and I had a flame orb, and a flame orb dealt twenty five, which is not bad. Um, so he's got a cool deck in which all of these are warriors, apparently, except for the blute. But his front three are warriors, so he gains ten ten in each discipline from Nivena. Um, it doesn't look like only my Kaor is a warrior, I guess. Um, the other ones are not warriors, so I didn't really go with that synergy, but. Um, I kind of like his synergy. I think he's too much reliant on Lista, um, and uh, Lista's a really good creature. So I'm trying desperately to hang on here. Um, I actually should have used Nivena's ability. I totally forgot. I could have used Nivena's ability and maybe like a Song of Furry, and he probably wouldn't have died. Um, that was unfortunate. So uh, Kyle is gone. Him and his two counters are gone, uh, but it's okay. Uh, I knew he was going to attack Cold Pond next. Um, how? I mean, that was the most logical choice. So yeah. And what he was surprised to find is, boom, Cold Pond's got a <gasps> guy in Troper. And um, so a 25 energy Lista versus a Cold Pond, um, 70 energy Cold Pond. I think I'll take the 70 energy Cold Pond. And I play Consuming Flame, I deal 15 damage, she plays out Wit, and um, out Wit deals 15, 25 damage, 15, whatever, it deals whatever damage it does. Um, and then I'm going to play, um, that's actually a solid card. Oh, no, it, um, flame ring. So uh, when you play flame, fire ring, deal ten damage to your engaged creature, uh, but also deal ten damage to Lista. I was able to defeat her. Um, oh nope, he decided he wasn't gonna move. That was probably a good thing because he probably knows I have a son of revival. Um, don't know how he knows it, but he probably somehow knows it. Magma dam, cool. Um, so. I'm going to kind of burn, I think, blades. Yeah, I probably should have burned blades before um, attacking. Or maybe not. Um, no, I'm going to burn Kaer the Fierce because I see that he probably has, a, I know he probably has a flame bit of Siren, and I really just didn't want him to 
get rid getting rid of uh, uh, um, Isaiah Monroe from um, from uh, uh, from that Venus, so he could burn her. So that was my thinking. I was just gonna burn Kato the Fierce before he could even get the chance uh, to uh, destroy Nevena's gear or even like burn um, burn her. And um, so he actually ends up playing um, music there as well, uh, a strain of ash in which um, I'm gonna ha I would have to sacrifice a battle gear and, or a. Uh, he or uh, he gets to choose the battle gear and he chooses Kaor's gear. Um, actually, hmm. Strain of Ash shouldn't have done that. Uh, I shouldn't have. I guess I misplayed there um, uh, because Strain of Ash would have done, been next turn, not this turn, and Kaor actually would have had his, his gear that turn. But that's okay. Um, it's fine, I guess. And so Kaor against Blades, I believe. And he's gonna deal a lot of damage, 20 damage. Okay, and I'm just gonna play Magmamite. I didn't even draw my attack card. I just played my Magmamite. I just wanted that, uh, that Kral Huskar mark gone. And boom, just like that, 80 damage. Uh, let's see. Um, 85 actually because of uh why 85 yep and i get to destroy um crawl husk armor uh, 85 damage really nice and he plays voltorch voltorch Oh no, and I also get a cannon of casualty. That's okay. Um, Kier is just gonna revive the call, I think. And so Kaer is going to revive that Kal. Um, unfortunately, uh, just the way it played out, I can't really use Kal's abilities too much. Um, and I can't. Re and um, I was hoping that K that uh, Kaer could be revived um, by a by Kal. Okay. So he sacrifices by motorcycle, and he's gonna blades, and he's gonna attack rage trod. Um, that's okay with me, I guess. So he's gonna deal fifteen damage with dry liquid. I play Flame Orb and deal 25 damage. Um, and I, unfortunately, I have Recklessness 5. But, so we're both at 35 damage. It's gonna deal, I'm gonna play Consuming Flame, dealing 15 to me. Ugh, that's not good. Have I used my Mana's ability yet? I think I'm just, uh, I think I'm about to, yeah. So, um, here is, he, Hyro actually, um, my, my opponent actually, um, at this instant, um, I would have actually done my attack, and um, and both of our creatures would have been coded, but I don't know. I let I let higher side. I don't, I don't know a lot of stuff uh, in the game. 
uh, for instance, Strain of Ash, uh, kind of forgot. And, but here I was kind of arguing, like, mm, uh, because right now it's my attack step. So I would do, th- I, would, I would deal that attack um, no matter what. Um, like, he already for- forewent his action step or his, um, like, music step. But I said, okay, that's fine. Um, whatever. Um, sure. I'm just going to play Son of Revival. Um, on, and he hit Cadence Clash me. That's fine. Um, I have another call to get my KO back. So I didn't think uh, that was fine for me. It's no problem. And it looks like I have a firearm in my hand, so it's okay. Life is all good. Um, oh, Lake Kenna Poe. When, where was Lake Kenna Poe uh, when I played my son of Revival? Uh, but that's okay. And I'll, uh, son of Revival. Anyways, uh, Kayor. Probably, yep. And I'm just gonna put him right in the middle. Mm. So this is where I think I messed up. Um, yeah, I should have. I should. I should have. Uh, I should have attacked probably Blute, because um, it seemed like his deck is pretty. I don't know. Like, I guess it was more of a stats based or um, f- fire based, but he did have a lot of fire um power um that does have a lot of fire as well so attacking blue would have been actually really good because then um he couldn't have nourished nourished um like i don't think he would want to nourish blades because blades is his only fighting creature left basically and so Sung, I played Sung of Fury, deal 10 damage, and I also gained fire 5. So now I have fire 10, and... Yep. Uh, 30. Maybe I'm just it. I guess I have fire 15. Yeah, I have fire 15. So um, that's nice, actually. And he's going to play... This was actually a really stupid idea on his part. Um, playing Kibosh and Carnage. Um, but that's okay. I'll let him have it. Uh, so he deals 20 damage. I uh, have that same attack as well. And I'm going to save it for later. Um, I'm just going to play. Yeah, so he ends up, ends up nourishing Nocturnes, his Lord and Blue. But I didn't really know that, okay? I didn't know. I didn't know. It would have been better. I should have. Kier should have attacked Blue. That was stupid of me. So now he gains like 6,500 energy, and I'm like, oh shit, that's not good. Uh, so, but he's still at 35 energy, and my Kale has fire 15, so that's pretty insane, I think. Um, so. It's uh, just enough to destroy him. Just enough to destroy him with my combusting carnage. Oh, see? Yeah, I, guess, I guess he didn't want to play anymore. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I had just enough to destroy with my combusting carnage. Um, and, um, yeah, I was able to destroy, to destroy him. And basically the only guy he had left. The only person he has left is my Venna, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the deck. Uh, it was just a fun, like, underworld deck. Um, I didn't really get to show off Kal as much. Uh, and I guess, like, it's fine if he just revives Kaor, um, basically. And, um, I mean, Navenna, you guys saw how awesome Navenna was. Uh, but after Navenna's done, after, like, three turns, basically, you just play Combust and Carnage, and boom, she does 20 damage, um, basically. Uh, you can come best in Carnage, Copond. Um, but basically, I think the turning point of the game was when he attacked with Lista. 
all right? And then he went into Cold Pond. And um, so he, like, I guess it was, like, surprising uh, for him um, that Cold Pond had Gagan Troper, you know, uh, 25 energy versus 70 energy with uh, pretty good wisdom and power and fire. So uh, that's how it ended up being. All right, guys, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this deck, and let's get chaotic.